Welcome to ME160 Engineering Drawing Part 6 Development 3. Learning Objectives of Part 3. 1. To explain the principle of rabattment and to apply the principle of rabattment. Part 3.1 Objectives of Part 3.1 1. Analyze two lens views and explain pure rabattment principle. Observations of true length views. Normal, let's take a look at normal orthographic projections. Take a look at special cases in normal orthographic projections. Here we have two views, the front view and the top view of a line AB. Let us perform a projection from the top view where the projector is perpendicular to the line AB in the top view. The front view gives us then a true length. Let's take a second example of a right side view of a front view and a left side view of a line AB. Again, let us perform a projection on the front side view the projector here is again perpendicular to the image line AB. Therefore, the left side view is a true length. Let's take another example of two views. This time the two lines, the two lines, the two views show a line that are inclined. Therefore, there is no true length in any of them. For us to obtain the true length, we must auxiliary project this to get the results. Now let's take the front view and perform an auxiliary projection AP, that's our auxiliary projector, perpendicular to the line AB. The principle of auxiliary projection demands that we determine a mutual view, a mutual projector, and then reference plane XY, and again a reference plane X1, Y1, which must be per perpendicular to AP, and we perform our projections right rightly. Projection, projecting B in the front view by AP, then this gives us B on the line. And again for A, then this is positive in that direction. So our line is AB, the blue line. That means that is the true length determined by auxiliary projection. Now let us take this view out to the left, to the right, as we have. Then we have our line AB and we have the true length AB as well given. Let us rotate the two views with a fixed point B about B. So the image becomes this. So from here, we know we have these points labeled as they correspond. Now let's see the relationship to our view on the right side, the original view that we're given, that is the top view and the front view given on the left side. So we introduce our line for the top view, that is AB line, that is the original top view, and we look at the correspondence over here. Then we realize a horizontal line that comes in to get to the point that we want to obtain the true length. So the blue line AB becomes our true length. This is the observation we have made from this, from auxiliary projection. From this, from these of observations, the true length of a line can easily be obtained by one, taking the line AB in the front view, rotating it to the horizontal, right? Rotating it to the horizontal, then project the rotated end to the level of A in the plan, and then the intersection of the projected A and level A yields the required A that is required, and therefore gives us BA the true length. Therefore, rabatnet method is also a rotational method, and rabatnet is derived from auxiliary projection pure rabattement principle. Now let's see the principle. It is used to determine the length of a single line. 
and it depends on mutual views. Graphically adjacent views are required. Take a look at the line AB given here. Now let's look at it. Then this is three. We have the front view, we have the right side view, and we have the top view. Now the front view and the right side view are mutual views. Again, the front view and the top view are also mutual views, but the front view, but the top view and the right side view are non mutual views. Pure abutment principle steps involved. One, select two mutual, mutual views of a line. Then choose one view as a fixed view. For the fixed view, fix one point of the line and rotate the free end onto a perpendicular line to MP. That's a mutual projector line through its fixed point. Further, project that end, that end point along MP onto a perpendicular to the mutual projector through the corresponding end point of the line in the free mutual view. Draw a line from the new point to the corresponding fixed point in the free mutual view to yield the true length. We can get, we can look at these steps from the example that we have over here. Here, example of a front view and a top view, front F and the top view T of a line AB. Here we have the two lines AB given. That's the front and the top. Now, select two mutual views of the line AB. So we have the front and the top selected. Then choose one view as a fixed view. Here the front view is chosen as a fixed view. Then two, it says, if that is the front view, then the top view T must be the mutual view. Then identify your mutual projector. That's a mutual projector on the front view. Then fix one end of AB in fixed view. The point B is fixed. Then it says rotate the free end of A of AB on the front view to the, onto the perpendicular to MP. Right through the fixed point A. So draw your line perpendicular through the fixed point A, B. Take your line A, B and rotate it about B to that perpendicular line. Then the next step, you have your point now A prime. Now it says project the point, the end point A prime along A, P, not the direction of M, P, sorry, not the direction of M, P onto the perpendicular line to MP through the corresponding point A on the mutual view. So you move to your mutual view, which is the top view, through A draw a horizontal line. Then take your A prime, project it downwards onto that horizontal, onto that perpendicular line in the direction of MP. Then that gives you A1. Now it says draw the line, draw a line from point A1 to B on the free end to obtain the true length. So you draw that. Then you have, that is your true length. Assignment five, determine the true length of a line AB by pure rotation method. Here, the front view and top view of the lines are given. Please, a neat and legible drawing is required title block must be well given. Please take note, the file name must be ME160, no space, then space, then you have six respond, corresponding to the, cap, the chapter that is development, then dash, then the assignment is question five, so dash five, then space, then you now add your index number to it. Please take note of these instructions. End of part one. Thank you.